Hey there! I know I haven't been very active this month, but if you support me on Patreon, I might have some more time to do things. Hello out there! This is Wake Angel 2001, and I've been putting this off way too long considering how simple it is. It is the Legion Class Windblade from the Transformers Robots in Disguise cartoon. Now, I peeled off that stupid poker chip sticker, which was blocking one of her vents, but aside from that, I have really done nothing else to this figure. Um, yeah, like, hey, Hasbro, if you're gonna stick the faction symbol on, try not to cover up their primary means of attack. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> okay, so, the Windblade figure is very simple because this is a Legion figure. The warrior is not yet out. Um, the warrior figure looks really cool, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, um, I don't know, Windblade is very flat looking. They really didn't do much with her wings. They didn't do much with her at all, really. I am, I am quite disappointed because she looks a lot like a Micromaster from, like, the late 80s. She doesn't really look like a Legion figure, especially not from the Robots in Disguise cartoon, because as we've established, the Robots in Disguise Legions are actually pretty awesome for the most part. In terms of engineering and articulation, they're getting really good. So this does not look quite as nice. I mean, they really did try. I'll try to zoom in. Um... She has painted blue eyes, and even her mouth is in there, and I swear I have tried dozens of times to photograph it, but it is just too small. They actually did sculpt in the details of, um, of the makeup effect under her eyes. I was surprised they went through that effort in the sculpt. Um, theoretically, you could pick it out in paint, but I don't think I have a brush small enough. Um, it is weird how they, they have the black of her hair and the gold of her crest, and then in between that is red. Like, that, did they think that she had a two-colored crest or something? And, uh, the details of her chest are picked out with black and blue, so they did put some effort into the paint scheme. Down here, she also has blue kneecaps. So I will, I will, I, I won't begrudge them the, the paint job they did. Um, and you know what? Um, really, it's just how flat the figure looks that makes it feel like a, like a MicroMaster conversion. But, if I were to be totally honest, the articulation is pretty much on par for a Cyberverse Legion. I mean, she has ball-jointed hips, so they can move all around. She has a, a pin-disc knee that goes almost 90. That's not bad. Um, her shoulders are jointed, although it... Yeah, not much movement. It's mostly a transformation hinge. And she has um, a ball joint here where an elbow would be, which affords her a wrist swivel, kind of. But, uh, you know, that just, like, the rotation, they, they didn't rig a joint here for rotation. It would have taken the whole wing with it, though. They didn't separate the arms from the wings. I think that that's what's tearing this figure down for me. That's what makes me say it feels like a MicroMaster. Because, like, com keeping the wing the arms as part of the wings, that, that just screams such a G1 toy to me. Like, I really feel like they just needed to find a way to separate the wings from the arms. And I know that Hasbro can do that because they have in the past. They've made Legion Starscream figures that totally had arms separate from the, from the, the wings. Um, so, quick comparison to the, uh, the, you know, the Iron Factory figure I bought a while ago. Uh, Miko for Iron Titan, a.k.a. Wind Saber. You can see that she is significantly shorter because she's a Legion and not a Legends. Um, although, funnily enough, she does have the 3mm pegs. So if you took, if you took Miko's sword, Windblade could actually hold it. It's bigger than she is, but she can hold it. <laughs> Not that you're really going to get much posing out of it, because, uh, that's basically the best you can get. I mean, it's not bad. 
Um, it's funny, like, you have a character who's named for the fact that she carries a giant sword. Her name is Windblade, but you don't actually pack her with any sword accessory. I mean, I know legions don't normally have accessories very often, but it's, it's her name. Her name is Windblade. The sword is 90% of what makes her special. Well, okay, it's more like 5% of what makes her special, because, like... I don't know, I, I really like Windblade, and I like Windblade's sword, and she should have had a sword. Alright, so her transformation is really simple. I'm actually going to do it right here on the camera. Uh, you just, you peg her legs together with that obvious tab, which is obvious. Um, straighten her legs out, pull the cockpit, whoop, off. Ah, I swore that I fixed that. I used, I used, I, I fixed that. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh no, what did I do? There, I fixed it. Alright, alright, so first let's... You put her arms down by her sides, then you push her her arms down on this joint. There's a little peg that goes into a slot on her hip. Mhm. Mm then you fold the cockpit over her head, and you have Windblade in plane mode. Uh, she has... She has three millimeter pegs in her wings, which, which seriously can accommodate weapons that do not exist. <laughs> seriously, why why don't they make weapons for Legion class figures anymore? They used to, they used to make ridiculous weapons, but they used to make weapons. Now they just budgeted that out. However, the plane mode itself is actually pretty darn good. Um, if I will remove my backdrop, you can see that it actually does a really good job of capturing the comic book appearance of Windblade's plane mode. I mean, it's shy on a few paint details, but what would you expect on a Legion figure? Like, if they had picked out her tail fins and this thing on her back in black, then they totally could have could have captured it. I color me really impressed because although the transformation is MicroMaster level simple and the robot mode is kind of a slouch, the plane mode in terms of the silhouette and where everything goes, that's pretty nailed. Pretty, pretty darn good. I mean, yeah, I, I like it. I really like the plane mode. I wish that they could have done the thing where the VTOLs would rotate. I mean, that would be a really tiny hinge, I guess, but seeing how the arms don't separate from the wings, you'd think you could use that extra bit of budget to put a joint in somewhere else. But uh, I guess it's only a Legion toy, so I'm not really going to... Again, I'm not going to begrudge it too much because of its, its very low price point. Um, oh, and by the way... Um, I got issues 2, 3, and 4 of the Windblade miniseries, but I wasn't able to find issue 1. I had to download a digital copy. If anybody has a copy of Windblade number 1, I'd be interested in getting it. Or, you know, where I can order one. Like, for not huge aftermarket prices, of course. Uh, so yeah. That's my review of the Transformers Robots in Disguise. Hello there, Under Kibble. Uh, Legion Class Windblade figure. Um, really nice plane mode for the price, um, but the robot mode, eh, it's okay, but it really feels like a G1 throwback. Like, like, uh, this is the MicroMaster toy that never got made in the 80s for Windblade. <laughs> Alright, so this has been Wake Angel 2001, and I am signing off.